Yuzi plays Firehouse versus Baton Rouge, and it's the second albums. It's the sophomore slugfest. It's 92 v 91. Firehouse won the first battle. Check the video. But who wins the second? We're going to break it down. It's time. Okay. So Firehouse went gold with their second album, Hold Your Fire. Not surprisingly, they carried on with the same goddamn formula and stuck to it and had ballads and had a few changes here and there. And there are some suck moments on this second album which let it down. But it's a strong second album. It was certified gold. Went to 23 on Billboard. That's pretty good. Normally it'd be a fly-by-night thing. No, they did it virtually again. Not as big. But it was certified gold IRIA. Um, and it was like 30 weeks on, on the charts. So... That's pretty impressive, especially this is 92, so it's just after grunge broke. So they've just managed to maintain a fan base based on their blue collar, hard rock sound. No frills, but okay. Yeah, and good and sort of has country vibes a lot, Firehouse, and bluesy. So with a Roadhouse Rock, Alice Cinderella, stuff like that, and Aerosmith. Baton Rouge's second album. Right at the end of the tunnel, the covers are like fairground thing and they look like grungy, the Pearl Jam stick. And a lot of people say they don't really like this album from what I've read, as good as the first. But I beg to differ. And um, interesting fact, Jack Ponte, the writer for Bon Jovi, is um, shot through the heart as I lay there alone in the dark. Yeah, that's Jack Ponte. He's also done Alice Cooper which explains a lot of Baton Rouge's choruses. Because I'm like, surely they didn't write this on their own. Surely they've got in Desmond Child at a bar or something, and he's coming, and lo and behold, they've got Jack Ponte, who wrote, Hey, 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 stupid. And you can hear the choral harmonies and sing-alongs all the way through, like at the end of the tunnel. And it makes it a great album like the first because Jack Ponty writes most songs on that as well. And does it do him any damage? No, because they've got the singer who can sing the songs. And it has a Chris voice. So it works. Okay, so we're going to compare albums. I'm going to say both of these albums are phenomenal for me. They both rock. I really like this second album by Baton Rouge. I like the, the choruses. I think the big, the meatloaf, the rallies in Cooper, the Michael Bolton, the Giant, the Van Halen, and it's fun as well. And it's like live biker rock, living in Tokyo times. You're my days, you're my nights. It's just like big as shit, man, and I love it. And it's going up against Firehouse, which is fucking amazing second album as well. Like to keep the energy. So let's compare them. Okay, track one, Firehouse, Reach for the Sky, straight ten. Reach for the sky. Yeah, ten. Okay, it's just a killer song, man. It just starts well, it gets you pumping. And they've not gave up that rootsy bar rock sound, the bluesy country vibes. But it's going up against Slave to the Rhythm. And this is a great song. That um, Louisiana, that's in town in a little, you can hear that, that New Orleans, that struggle, you know, you can smell the Mississippi River. Slave to the river now, it's a shithole, it's a swamp, and you can hear it. That's in town in a learning sound. You're slave to the river now. You can you can feel the ancestry in his voice, man. I'm telling you, it's like Candyman 2 or something. Don't know where I got that from, but basically you can feel struggle in the guy's voice. Keely Killing, whatever he's called. What a singer. What a singer. This song is fantastic. I'd give it an 11, probably. I love it. I just... It's just a really strong vocal that makes the song 
and it's the vocals what make Baton Rouge stand out for me. If it wasn't for this singer, it'd just be another loser band on Sunset Strip or something or trying to make it in the swamps where they live. Because of this guy's voice, I could understand why they got signed. Because there was a risk worth taking, because if they failed, you could just sign Ricky and the Ronnies, couldn't you? But what I'm saying is, Slave to the Rhythm is a 10. I love it. It starts off well, Van Halen vibes again. And I just think it's such an emotional little chorus. Boom. There you go. Love it. I'm, I'm touched by his vocal performance on this. 10. 11. Okay, next, Rock You Tonight by Firehouse Saxon Vibes. We're gonna rock you tonight. Whoa, like Def Leppard, Saxon. I'm hearing that um, Back on the Streets vibes. That's that album. Definitely gone for that Saxon thing with The Rock as well, Bon Jovi. And it's a nine. Love it again. The licks are great. It's a fun stomper. And next you've got Full Time Body by Baton Rouge. Full Time Body. Get all your rocking. To fun song again. Just keeps it going. It's a strong eight. I love this song. Not as good as Rock You Tonight, but it's still a good song for me, man. It's just fun. And again, just a strong eight. Great song from... Um, Baton Rouge. Next, Sleeping With You by Firehouse. I've been sleeping with you. Great melody. Again, another driving song. And it's probably, I'd give it an eight or something from what I've got here. We've got Tie Me Up by Baton Rouge, track three. And that is a eight. And again, Tie you up, baby, and let me down. Tie you up, you be coming round. Again, another driver, another like, sort of road rocker, nighttime rocker, just you know, bar rocker, whatever you want to call it. Good, great vocals, and I give it an eight. Next, track four, you've got You're Too Bad by Firehouse, and this is it sort of sucks. I don't like it. It's a six. Mediocre. It's pretty much a filler. The chorus isn't strong. Versus Desperate by Baton Rouge. And it's an eight. I'm desperate. Uh, it's a strong eight, man. It's a great little ballad. Um, yeah. Okay, it's a strong eight. It's a great song. So, yeah. I'd have Baton Rouge up right now. Next, track five, When I Look Into Your Eyes. Nine or ten, really good ballad. When I look into your eyes. <laughs> and it's facing Tokyo Time by Baton Rouge again, a ten. Living on Tokyo Times. Living on Tokyo Times. Yeah, just again, martial arts rock, movie rock, revenge movie rock, just like. They always had that B-list rock down to a sound T, but it works, it's strong, it's a strong chorus, it's a straight 10. It's fun, Tokyo time. It's not an amazing chorus, but it's just catchy enough to wheel you in. Straight 10 for me. Okay, next we've got Get In Touch by Firehouse. I gave it about 7. Versus Vampire Kiss by Baton Rouge, and I gave that like a 7. The verse isn't as good as the chorus, but the... But the chorus is pretty good from Baton Rouge 7. Track 7, Hold Your Fire. This is where it starts to get interesting because Firehouse start experimenting a bit more now. And um, sounds a bit like rat. Um, nobody! Nobody rides for free the, the opening card. Hold Your Fire 10. I think it's the best song on the album for me. I love it. Um, Self-titled, but I just feel like the, the style, it's very um, eerie vibe, great guitar part, country vibe, but good good chorus, strong 10, 8 of 10. Versus The Price of Love by Baton Rouge. <sighs> it's 
a straight ten. One lonely night, lounging with falling. Where Cupid and led to me. Lonely in the low, lonely as the press of love. I was standing in, but this is where I'm thinking. Like when we get to like the end of the tunnel, I'm thinking there's no way they wrote these. Somebody helped them. It's definitely a pro songwriter, Steinman, Child. And as we know it, it's Jack Pondy. Great Chorus 10. So at the moment, Baton Rouge are quite leading, funnily enough. Next, we've got The Meaning of Life by Firehouse. And it's a shit chorus and it's a five. I don't like it at all. I think it sucks. Five. Don't know what I wrote here. Just no frills or something. Next, going up against Dreaming in Black and White, and that's an eight. Um, Again, a memorable chorus. The song gets better as it goes along. Strong eight. Next, we've got Talk of the Town, track nine by Firehouse. I'd give that a seven. Pretty good, just above filler. And Facing Down by the Torchlight, which is a strong eight by Baton Rouge. Again, another great song. Pretty good. Um, could be a nine. It's got a good chorus and it's got a good drive. Next, we've got Like in the World and it has a really good crescendo. Good crescendo part, which is a strong eight by Firehouse. So, the, you know, the groove doesn't stop coming from Firehouse. I just think the quality is not the same as the first album. They are running out of ideas. I feel, or getting fed up of the hook line rock. Next, we've got Light at the End of the Tunnel by Baton Rouge, and it's a straight 10. It's a straight 10, man. It's, um, I probably already sang it at the beginning, now. I've even forgot the chorus, but for <laughs> The, the chorus is phenomenal like when you hear it again and you're like this is where I'm like wow like his voice the vocal parts are strong as fuck um, so I'm giving that a 10 next we've got track 11 mama don't raise no fool 5 or 6 mama don't raise no fool Filler, terrible, don't like it. Next, tear down the walls. This is where they start to go a bit, because tear down the walls. Bit kiss, creatures in the night vibe. Don't really feel it. It lets them down, because they've just done light at the end of the tunnel, which is a straight 10. They've had eights, they've had tens. They've fought off Firehouse for quite a lot of the fight, man. Right now, they're still doing enough, but they've let themselves down with tear down the walls. And finally, track 12, and it's 12 12 here, Hold the Dream, which is a really strong end. <laughs> Serious end to Firehouse, and it's a telling of the time. Because they were about to go a bit Cinderella and do go a bit more country bluesy with acoustic style stuff. So maybe they knew. But Hold the Dream is a 10. 9 or 10. I love this song. And it's facing Hotter Than Hell, which is again a good closer for Baton Rouge. Not as good as Hold the Dream, but still good. Strong 8. So the winner, 2 to 5, pretty much what I've counted or more or less, you're going to be shocked, guys, but I really prefer Baton Rouge, and these are both great albums, but the winner for today is Light at the End of the Tunnel by Baton Rouge. I just think the songwriting mixed with the focus and the choruses are more mature, and it's less... It's The songs have just developed for me from the first album, I feel, I just think it's like they've got more mature, stronger, the chops have got better, 
and even though it didn't do well commercially because this was 91 and people didn't want that heartache rock like giant and stuff they wanted it either fun catchy or grungy and angsty stuff like giant and that was big for a time but van halen already had that market with dreams so i think what happened with bands like baton rouge is when they're trying that it could already be dated it doesn't matter it's a superb album light at the end of the tunnel tokyo time desperate tie you up full-time body slave to the rhythm killer songs for me and they just stand out more than the songs on this there's some brilliant songs on this firehouse album but stuff like the meaning of life let it down mama didn't raise no fool you're too bad just filler where it didn't need to be because had they have concentrated on three more songs they would have had a killer album like the first i just feel like it's waning on this second album even though it is still strong and hold your fire and hold the dream are superb superb songs i think it it doesn't quite do it as a full album but light at the end of the tunnel is a pretty well orchestrated hard rock album with no bullshit about it the ballads don't seem to be wimpy they seem to be strong because of the singer and they seem to have power and um, dark, dark a bit of operatic vibe in there and when all the singers come together and all the vocals come together it's powerful as hell so Baton Rouge win today guys light at the end of the tunnel is your winner for today tell me what you think do you think Baton Rouge should have won or do you think that Firehouse should have won Put in your comments, tell me your favourite songs and compare them. I just feel like Baton Rouge. Just do a little bit more on this second album where every song is a little bit more thought out, whereas Firehouse are just going off success and image and pretty much sticking to the blueprint. On this, I'm going with Baton Rouge. But by the way, two absolutely brilliant albums. I'm putting on Firehouse next. I've just listened to Baton Rouge. I love this stuff. It's fun. And I can't wait because Firehouse rock, man. Just like Baton Rouge. Just like all these bands. I don't care about what genre it is. As long as the songs make me feel good or emotional. And that doesn't make... That, that can be relatable to any genre. It, what it is to you, baby. Peace. I hope you enjoyed my video. And the winner, coming out of the right corner, Baton Rouge.